A few months ago, I showed a video on how to quilt a log cabin style quilt. A video link will be down below in the description if you would like to see that. But during that time, I didn't have a quilt pattern available for you all. But today is the day. Today we will be making my layer cake log cabin quilt pattern, which is a super easy beginner friendly block as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now go ahead and take a stack of your layer cake squares and for your first cut on the left side you're going to cut a two and a half inch strip. Now to make it easier on myself I'm just going to rotate my cutting mat and with the top of your fabric stack you're going to cut another two and a half inch strip. Then with the left side of your stack again cut another two and a half inch strip and lastly one more time a two and a half inch strip from the top. So here is what your cuts will look like. And now I'm going to move these off to the side and repeat the same exact steps to every single layer cake square that you have. But to make it easier, just remember every cut is two and a half inch wide and you'll be cutting from the left, top, left, and top again. But of course I will have a PDF pattern available for you and the link for that will be down below in the description and it is available in all five quilt sizes as well. After all of your layer cakes are cut up, you can just take your square stack and just grab a good chunk of them and rotate the fabrics around. Then your outer fabric strips, you can take a different type of chunk and rotate them around as well. But make sure those outer fabrics are the same print, that way we can achieve that log cabin look. Now this just makes it easier so you don't have to select every single fabric piece while you're piecing it all back together. Now all we just have to do is sew everything back together and start by taking the smaller two and a half inch strip on top and sew it to the square. And next we will be taking the matching two and a half inch strip on the left and sew it to the unit that we are working on. Now it will be longer and you will have a tail at the end, but that is okay. Just make sure you are lining up your fabric to the top and let the excess hang down to the bottom. Next we are going to sew the top strip to the unit, but this time you will have excess fabric sticking out to the right. Just make sure you line up your fabric to the left side so you will have that tail going off to the right. And lastly, all you have to do is add your final strip, which once again, you will have excess fabric hanging off to the bottom. But this is okay because after this, we will be trimming up all of our blocks. But here we have it. You will just piece everything back together to your whole entire stack, but once everything is sewn up all together, you will need to trim your blocks down to a eight and three quarters inch block. Now, because this is a little bit of a weird size, you can either take a eight and a half inch square ruler and line up the corner of your ruler to the bottom right area of that fabric square section and just trim off those tail ends. Or you can take a larger ruler, which in this case, I am using the Perfect 10 ruler and just line up your block around the eight and three quarter inch mark area and just trim off those tail end pieces. Now you won't be trimming off much really, but whichever way you prefer, go ahead and trim up your block. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and sew everything together and trim them all up so that way we can get started on the layout portion. Once all of your blocks are finished, it's time to lay out your quilt. Now of course, depending on what size you are making, go ahead and follow the instructions on the PDF pattern. But all you'll be doing is rotating every other block like so. And what makes this a perfect beginner block is although you may have many seam allowances, the only seams you will be matching is the blocks. But once your quilt is laid out, all you'll be doing is sewing your blocks together to form rows. And then lastly, sew the rows together to complete your quilt top. And ta-da! Here it is! What I love about this pattern, besides it is fast and easy to put together quickly, is look how scrappy it comes out. And if you are using a layer cake collection, of course it will all go together cohesively and it just makes this beautiful scrappy mess, which I love so much. But if you could, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because I'll be discussing quilting ideas as well as I'll show you how I will be custom quilting this beautiful quilt later.